I started the company with $500. I was 19 years old. Um, had no earthly idea what I was doing. Um, never intended on this being a long-term venture at all. I, it was a method to save money for med school. Wanted to be a physician and I uh, figured I'd, I could make a little more money on my own than the $13 an hour I was making being an AP clerk uh, for, uh, for a construction company. And as I got, as I got into it, um, the IT field is so broad, it's so diverse, that, that uh, and I'm an extreme extrovert, so anything shiny gets my attention and distracts me. So, so I, anything that someone wanted, you know, we ate what we killed. And uh, so we killed anything that moved. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, we'd go out and we'd say, sure, yeah, of course we can do that. And on the drive back, we'd be figuring out, okay, how exactly are we going to do that? And, and, you know, what exactly was he talking about in the first place? You know, I looked up one day, and it all happened so fast. And I, and I looked up one day and, and realized that, um, you know, we were, we were kind of uh, sort of like flying the space shuttle without, without a license, you know. And so... Uh, you know, something would go wrong, and we'd try to adjust, and we'd turn this knob over here, and oh, no, that's not the result we wanted. Turn that one back and push this button over here and see what happens. And it was manage, management by, uh, you know, just by trial and error. My wife sat me down, and uh, I, I promised her in the beginning that if, if this ever gets to the point where it's not fun anymore, I'm done. And uh, she sat me down and, and said, it's, it's not fun anymore, and you need to be done, or you need to fix it. And uh, I had two boys, two and four, uh, that um, got the last 5% of what I had at the end of the day, if they were lucky. And my wife made it very clear <laughs> that that's, you know, this is no way, this is no way to raise a family. <clears throat> And it doesn't how mu matter how much money you think you can make or we are making, it's not worth it. And I, uh, I realized she was right. And I realized that something, something had to be done. One of my initial concerns when I met with Bill Matthews was, was that, uh, you know, these are best in class companies coming out the other end of this process. And, uh, you know, it feels like we're so far removed from best in class after looking at some some of those companies and the success of some of the companies that have been through the program that it, it's it's going to be nigh unto impossible for us to get there. And Bill laughed and uh, said, "You know, it's it's probably easier than you think, and we'll give you help you define your vision." We'll give you direction. We'll be there for you to support you, to talk you off the ledge in some cases. But you're going to have to do the heavy lifting. You're going to have to do all the work. And it is going to be a lot of work, but it's, it's going to be worth it, and it's not going to be difficult. And he was right. One of the unique things about Aileron that I learned very quickly is that they have no revenue to protect. And that puts everyone on the campus in a very, very unique position of being able to be brutally honest because if I don't come back, it means I wasn't committed to success. And <clears throat> while no one actually came out and said those direct words to me, it was always very apparent that, that there's, they don't need me, you know, and that's, and, and that's a pretty cool position for a consultant to be in. All the consultants I've worked with in the past have a revenue stream to protect. And so they'll be honest with me to a point, but that honesty only goes so far if it means that it might interrupt that revenue stream. I've found that Aileron is a perfect mix of coursework and, 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 and class work taught by real professionals that have actually been on the front lines in the war zone. And I found out that there was nothing that I have the opportunity to face in the future, <laughs> have faced or, or will have the opportunity to face that that someone here hasn't already been through. And so the coursework was important to give some structure to it. The campus is important and we use the campus extensively, but most importantly, in my opinion, the consultants, the consultants are the secret sauce because it takes coaching and it takes someone to be there every step of the way and to pull you back out of the weeds consistently until that becomes the new natural behavior.
You know, some of the accounts that that we've since stopped doing business with were very large national accounts, and it was tough because you know, hey, they're you know their names on in, in every grocery store. We can't, you know, that's a feather in our cap. We can't, uh, we, we we can't we can't tell them that we're not the right provider for them. But we learned that we could, and we also learned that that wasn't arrogance, um, but it was focus. And when we went and had that conversation with, with with that company, they understood it, and you know they respected us for it. Uh, and for coming to them before before our focus caused us to do a poor job. Better doesn't begin to describe it, really. The experience, my work experience now, is 180 degrees different than it was in December of 2008. We were getting a lot done in de December of 2008, but we were getting a lot done with by sheer brute force because we were running harder than anyone else was, you know? And what the result of that was that conversation with my wife. The result of that was everybody went home from work worn completely out. They went home exhausted. And Operationally, we weren't as efficient as we could have been, and a lot of things contributed to that. And so as I went through the president's course, and then my senior managers went through the course for senior managers, what started to happen is I started to get less busy, and less busy, and less busy, and there was less to do, and less to do, and less to do. And a defining moment, what really drove that home for me was I came back from a two-week vacation um, during which I had received, oh, four or five calls from direct reports, all of which were about opportunities that couldn't wait until I returned. And worked Monday morning and had a pre-scheduled meeting out of the office on Monday afternoon and worked Tuesday morning and about 2.30 on Tuesday afternoon, I looked up from my desk and realized that I didn't have anything to do. And for 15 minutes, uh, there was sheer panic <laughs> and terror because generally speaking, in the past, what that meant was we as a company didn't have anything to do. And when I ran out of stuff to do, that meant, that meant my people had been sitting around for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and and uh, when I started to look at things, I realized I didn't have anything to do because I had the right people with the right training in the right chairs pointed in the same direction and that they had done it for me. I had gotten out of their way and they had done it for me. And so Tuesday afternoon after being gone for two solid weeks, I was able to jump right back into strategy. And, and that was uncomfortable. It was difficult. It was difficult to do because it just didn't feel natural. In less than a year, we've made a significant amount of changes. My life is dramatically different. My employees' lives are dramatically different. And I knew, I knew that it was working. I never want to get into the position that I think my business, we've arrived, but I knew we had arrived from a culture perspective and, and, and things were taking root and it was working when I started to get comments from employees' spouses about their husband or their wife coming home less stressed and more focused or more excited about work. And when I started hear, hearing people whistling on their way into work and whistling on the way out after a 12 hour day, you know, we don't work any less hard than we did before, but we work a heck of a lot smarter. And we're going to do the same amount of business this year with a significant amount less people and everyone's happy about it. And that's, uh, that's, that's just something we've never had.